in winner's final. So that'll be pretty interesting to say the least. Alright, so let's get started. We got Olimar Zelda. So we saw earlier that uh, DeBuzz played Olimar versus Tilde, but then when he fought Rob, he went Rosalina. So uh, it's not him opting to just like try and mainly focus on Rosalina. He's just trying to play those matchups right. So this time he's going Olimar. You know, like you don't need to have a big body. Uh, to deal with like the night and all that and like you have like all these lingering moves that can like just accidentally hit Luma. So gonna go Olimar and Right now pretty even percent, you know uh, Zelda is pretty good at like building a wall So you kind of have to go at her kind of slow and Debuzz fully aware of that in fact He's just building his army. He's just like purple purple All right, and yeah, look at that Sorry. All right. So getting to those are uh, those later percents. Um, the buzz, pro uh, the buzz, well past the line of being able to just kill uh, zero to none. But zero to none, not going to give him that positioning. Not trying to not give him that moment. Oh my God! I'm actually surprised that didn't kill. Uh, but yeah, Zelda now at 143. She's going to be consi consistently like pulling back uh, because you know she's got a great forward moving like remote move so she can go backwards while uh, still pushing forward which is a great utility uh, and I could see that being pretty effective versus a character like Olimar where like you move you weave away from uh, the Pikmin and then uh, the knight kind of slices them all but nonetheless Zero Nun gonna lose his first stock the buzz able to like run in and just smack him uh, but, you know, at what cost? He's at 150 damage, so he's going to have to be a little bit careful, uh, get in those hits, and oh my god, he is not giving Zero None any space on the stage. You know, he's taking full control, and yeah, he's just being like, you're going to stay over here, and oh my god. So, they traded kills, which is an extremely favorable thing in DeBuzz's favor. Uh, the, yeah, favorable in the buzz here. Yeah, I'm so cool. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, Zero None. Building up some early damage. But it's not going to mean too much unless he's able to, you know, build up the damage and then, like, pull back for a reset. Because if you just let him, like, take his turn. Oh, my God. Wow. All right. Zero None actually evening it up. He was just like... She was looking, she was just pointing up. She's like, hey, what's that? Oh, that's your stock. Disappearing. Kaboom. Anyway. Man, I can't say words like kaboom anymore because Hero's a character. Get out of here. Anyway. This is not looking good. And oh my god, that white Pikmin uh, doing overtime. Landing mad damage. Bro, 40, 145 damage on a light character like that. Okay. Blue is at the end, so it's going to be like two swings and then a grab or something. Two. But nah, he's just going to hit him with the Monique. Oh. And E trying to thwart the buzz. All right, so DeBuzz is going to get rid of Yoshi's story and Smashville. Don't really know about Zelda to really understand what she's going to pick. So, yeah, I'm just going to assume those are good bands. And uh, Zero Nun going to opt to pick Battlefield. Stop battle. All right, so DeBuzz is going to be sticking to Olimar. Yeah, uh, I mean, he was pretty... I would say he was, like, pretty sizable lead the entire time. Uh, Zero None was able to bring back, like, that percent with that kind of sick comeback kill. But the thing about sick comeback kills is, like, it doesn't really say too much about the neutral. Like, 
once you do something like that, you have to back it up, you know? And, like, he did kind of all right, but uh, he, he definitely did, like, uh, the buzz definitely just did, like, a, a hell of a lot of damage. He was just winning a lot of inter interactions. <coughs> Yo, COVID 311, that's what I'm saying. You gotta spread the stream, though. Hit that link, hit that those sick retweets, and, uh, and just link it out. You like, check out my favorite new stream. Anyway. Ah. So, pretty. Oh my god. That's not gonna kill, is it? She's hella strong! Bro! So, like, he whittled down the buzzer shield and then actually killed it with uh, with upbeat Pharaoh's wind, I think. And then F fully charged F smash from across the stage on battlefield and it killed like nothing. Like, I know the percents weren't like exactly low, but they weren't like high. That's actually OD. Dude, he was at 71. Oh my god. Anyway. So, really good stuff by uh, Zero to None. However, like I said, if you're going to do those big, uh, those big bombastic hits like that, you got to back it up. You need to make sure that you're playing the neutral right and getting those hits in. Because once they take the, once you lose that stock, depending on how much damage you did, really dictates how much of a lead you have. And we see that Zero to None's already down in percent. And, like, on the even stocks. So, it's just like... When you get hit by stuff like like that, it really kind of lends itself to being a little bit more gimmicky than like solid, which you know, like you need to have a, a good mix of the two. You need to definitely have aces up your sleeve, but if you're using them to get the stocks uh, early on, then uh, you know you you need to like work on those neutral interactions. And like I, I'm sure that Zelda definitely has some struggling points, on, like how she's gonna try and recover uh, from certain. Uh, interactions but yeah it's kind of like the nature of it it can only work so much yeah I feel like the, uh, I feel like Zelda's also running for the buzz anyway I need to stop so all right I kind of I kind of like it zero done uh, saying like stay off my ledge is my domain and just like try to stuff him out with that quick down air That's definitely something that you can do, but the buzz often go under the stage uh, Quick interaction there and uh, able to land the forward air the tipper toe uh, And yeah evening out those percents and Now in a bit of a stock lead, but right now the buzz is landing all those hits so for so for how long? Depends which Zelda, MGW. I think. Anyway. Ooh! Alright, zero to none. Not out just yet. Actually, gonna take game two off of the buzz. Let me see that. I didn't actually, like, fully understand that. It was a down air, right? No. No, it couldn't have been. Wait, what is that move? Oh! Oh, he's countered it! Oh my god! Yo, don't get, don't swing, bro! Oh my god, that's that's actually hilarious. Let's, let's see that again. So he did up smash. Oh no. Well. Yeah. Don't don't fall asleep, man. Like if that's a boss, oh Jesus Christ, 58. That's nuts. All right, game three. Uh, zero to none. I got rid of FD and Kalos, and so the buzz picked Hamlin City. Now this is a stage that is quite big. Um, so if you ever need to like, you know, catch a breather, this might be the stage for you.
Oh man. From the from the from game two to game three, Zero Nun dyed his hair. Bro, I don't know if I'm ready for a timeline where Zero Nun beats both Jen and the Buzz uh, to make it to winners finals. Because right now these percents looking hella even. In fact, Zero Nun's in the lead. Ugh. That that F smash might be like kind of safe for some characters against some characters. But now versus the Buzz, now versus Alomar, he's gonna be swinging mad deep. <coughs> and I see some bits in the chat for zero to none though. Are we trying to get the upset? Hitting with the sour spot of up B, I guess. Oh boy. Zero Nun taking that first stock. Now 130%. Like I said, before he was kind of hitting him with like pseudo gimmicky setups where like he wasn't like ult like really backing up in the neutral. And you can see that the buzz was winning a lot of the, the, the interactions. But Zero Nun is definitely cleaning up his game. He's definitely being a lot more aware of like the space that both he and his opponent controls and when the windows open to go in. When to swing, when to shoot. Huh? Yeah. Oh my God, bro! You can't. What a life when your when your projectiles, when your smash attacks, when your normals are literally projectiles, and she just like reflects so fast. What frame is that? Move! I don't think it's like ultra fast, but it's definitely it's definitely quick one, especially like the cooldown. Anyway. <sighs> All right. 63 damage uh, with a stock lead is a very healthy position to be in. Oh, that move is intangible in startup. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. As Sinji said, Nairo's love. Really good move. Dude, I don't know what timeline is this. All right, but so he's been, even though he's had this stock advantage, he really hasn't dealt a lot of percent. It's been a while now. He's only dealt out 30 damage. And like the buzz was able to deal out about 80 and even up the stocks now. 30 damage to zero. That's not a big lead at all. That's basically even. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, the buzz is mad. Ooh, okay. You know he was definitely looking for that strong hit, uh, but wasn't able to get it. But the the neighbor's love was able to get him out of it. Uh oh. Oh my god. This is where like her setups work, right? Like that's why he goes for that grab, right? Okay, understandable, bro. You gotta get that thing off you. Okay. It was actually kind of convenient that he got knocked off stage because then he could use his recovery move to get rid of the white pick and end goodbye. Ah. Zero to none felt that. Man, those Pikmin. Oh my god.